What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find the volume of a pyramid that has a base that's a regular polygon. So as you can see, this pyramid has, the base is a regular hexagon, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six sides, right? So that's a regular hexagon. And we're told that each side of this hexagon is 12 centimeters and that the height of the pyramid is 20 centimeters, all right? The formula to find the volume of a pyramid is the same regardless. So it's going to be that the volume is equal to one third the base times the height. Okay, so here let's find, first of all, the area of the base. So basically the area of this hexagon. And in order to do that, let me bring in a hexagon just so we have a little bit of a cleaner shape right here for this hexagon and let's figure out how to find the area of this guy. So a couple things that we're given are, again, each of the sides of the hexagon, right? It's 12 centimeters, and it's a regular polygon, which again, just means all the sides are the same length. Now, in order to find the area of any regular polygon, you can use this formula right here. So it's gonna be equal to 1 half times A N S, where A stands for the apothem, N is the number of sides, and S is the length of each side, right? So let's start with just this first variable, the apothem. Now, if you don't remember what that is, it's simply the distance from the center of the polygon over to one of the sides, right? So here, I'll just draw it straight down to this bottom side right here, okay? Now, it, it hits this side right at the midpoint, so it basically splits it in half. And the other thing that happens here is that it creates a right angle, a 90 degree angle, with the side. Okay, so again, the distance from the center over here to here is the apothem. So in order to find that length, the first thing we have to do is find the measure of the central angles in this polygon. And the way that you do that is you draw an angle from the center of your polygon to the vertices, all right? So basically we could draw a line that goes from there to there and from there to there. Okay, so you, as you can see, it intersects it here at the vertices. All right, so this big angle right here is called a central angle. And however many sides your polygon has, that's how many central angles you have, right? So here I just drew one of them, but we could draw that same angle on any of the sides, right? So for instance, I could draw it between these two vertices, right? So I could draw a straight line from there to there and from there to there, right? So this is also a central angle. Now, the way that you find the measure of a central angle is a fairly simple formula. I'll just write it down here. So a central angle is equal to 360 divided by n, where n is the number of sides. So here we have a hexagon, six sides, right? So the central angle is going to be equal to 360 divided by six, which is equal to 60 degrees, right? So this big measure right here is 60 degrees, okay? But if we know that this line right here, the apothem basically cuts it in half, we know that each of these angles, so this angle right here is 30 degrees, and this angle right here is also 30 degrees. Okay, great. So as you can see, we basically have a right triangle here that we've created. So we're gonna be able to use a little bit of trig to figure out what this length is, right? This red line, which I'll just label as A for the apothem. Now, in order to find that length of that side, one other piece of information that we need would be one of these other side lengths. So here we can figure out what this side length is down here, right? Because we know that this entire side length is 12 centimeters. So half of 12 centimeters is obviously six centimeters. So this side is six centimeters and this side is six centimeters. All right, and I'm gonna move this out of the way just to make it a little less cluttered over here. All right, great. So now we know again what this angle is right here. It's 30 degrees. We're looking for this side length right here, right? which is labeled as A for the apothem. And then we know this short little side length right here, which is six centimeters. Now, in order to solve this using trig, we need to identify the three sides of our little right triangle right here in relation to this angle that we found, the 30 degrees. So we need to find the adjacent side, the opposite side, and the hypotenuse. So for this right triangle, the hypotenuse is the easiest one to see, right? It's this longest one right here. So this is the hypotenuse. And then in relation to this angle, the 30 degrees, you can see that the opposite side would be down here. So I'm gonna label this one as the opposite side. And then by process of elimination, that means this side right here where the apothem is must be the adjacent side. Okay, so for our little right triangle here, 
we're looking for the adjacent side and we know the opposite side. So which trig function uses the adjacent side and the opposite side? Well, if you think about the little acronym, maybe you've heard of it, SOKATOA, right? SOKATOA. Okay, here you can see that it's tangent that uses the opposite side and the adjacent side, all right? So we're gonna wanna take the tangent of this angle that we found, right, 30 degrees. So we're gonna say the tangent of 30 is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. So the opposite side is six, and the adjacent side is a. Okay, so to solve for a here, let's move it to the numerator by multiplying both sides by a. On this side, they cancel out, and over here we get a times the tangent of 30 is equal to six. So solving for a, we can divide both sides by the tangent of 30, like so. And then on this side, they cancel out, so here we get that a is equal to six divided by the tangent of 30, which is equal to approximately 10.39. All right, so that's the length of the apothem a. So now we can finally plug that number in to this formula up here, which I'm gonna move down here just so we can have a little more room to work with it. So again, we know what a is equal to the apothem, right, 10.39. So here, the area of this regular polygon, the whole thing, it's gonna be equal to one half times the apothem, which is 10.39, times the number of sides, we have six, and times the length of each side, which again is 12, okay? So if you multiply this all out, you'll get that the area of this regular polygon, this hexagon, is equal to approximately 374.12, and our units, we're working in centimeters, right? So centimeters squared. Great, we finally found the area of this hexagon, right? The base down here. So now we can finally plug it in for this big B right here. It has been a big B. And then we'll fill in also the height, which is 20 centimeters. So here the volume is gonna be equal to one third times the base, which is 374.12 times the height, which again is 20. All right. Now, if you multiply this out, you'll get that the volume is equal to 2,494.15, and our units are centimeters cubed. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below.